Hello my gorgeous little angels, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Antonia. Please come part of our magical online family. Make sure you click the red subscribe button down below. Because today we have an amazing unboxing of the Wisting Trunk. This should be the limited edition Headmasters box. Should be. So I doesn't know what it is. <laughs> so if you'd like to see what's inside, then make sure you carry on watching. <laughs> First of all, I just want to say that I have become a ref for the Wisdom Trunk. This box I paid for myself. Yeah. It is the new subscription boxes that I haven't paid for, um, which will be the Lessons editions, which will be coming hopefully very soon. I can't wait. Um, so definitely go and subscribe if you haven't already. Use my code ANTONIA10 and you can save some galleons on either any items in the shop or on any subscriptions. And I will link all that down below so you can go and check it all out yourself. But for now, we're going to get into the unboxing. Let me tell you for free that this box is so heavy by the way i just want to say a disclaimer that even though i am a rep for them that all my opinions will be my own and that's just how the cookie crumbles i can't lie this face not poker at all not made for it so just want to let you know though the but i'm not like on one hand like i could maybe stand here for about 10 seconds and i'm like nah not today so she come prepared i was proud it takes me like 25 videos to come prepared but but yeah it's all that matters so let's get it open if we can oh my lord should have probably brought a knife right now the scissors done the job it just took me a minute but oh wow this box is so jam-packed this is definitely i don't know i don't know what way is it gonna come out my mouth then <laughs> we're gonna take the spoiler off so we've just got all different um like treats on it from the wisdom world so like sherbet lemon acid pops and reading this backwards for some wispies toffee eclairs and chocolate clusters oh i could do with all of them and um this is our thing do you think i ever hate is the wiggly worms but i appreciate the fact that it protects everything i feel like i'm so excited to open this box and i'm proper rambling let's just get grab an item out so i can't actually see any spoilers today so i'm just gonna grab this big box in the corner because that was what was catching me eye. As far as I know, there's quite a few glass items in there because he did kindly enough message me saying that the worry because obviously my postman hates me. Uh, well, he loves me, but hates me. It's a love-hate relationship and <laughs> like throws me parcels. So a lot of them do break. But this one, as far as I can see, is intact and it's a mug. Oh. So it says, to, oh my God, I love it. It says, turn to page 394 and on the back it says, obviously. It does have like a green pattern inside. Look at this, like, this is like a Hagrid's mug. Like, that is a, like, you are not playing games. Like, imagine a hot chocolate with whipped cream marshmallows on top of that. If I had hot chocolate, I'd tell you I was going to make it, but I haven't got any in, so I'll have to go and make that commitment. But this is a beautiful mug. I love, like, the little speckles on it. I love that love that big fan i mean i personally don't drink apart from hot chocolate i don't drink hot drinks like i don't have a um tea or coffee but obviously i can use that like i love orange juice in the morning because i have that in that so problem for me so i'm gonna go for this other big box because this is the other thing that was catching me eye because these are the only things still you can't see not how much i'm obsessed with that i can't see i love not being able to see anything so it like continues to surprise the whole way through what an un unusual box. Am I opening it correctly? You're just playing hard to get. Am I doing something wrong? Oh my jeez. Oh. <laughs> Whatever the item is, just nearly <laughs> flung out the box. Right. So it mightn't be the postman, it might be me. Let's see. This looks like a memory vial. Let's see if we're right. The they've gone to town, the packaging. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, oh, it is. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. Look at that. That is beautiful. Like, that is seriously beautiful. Oh, my Lord. Have mercy on my soul. It's like a really big glass as well. I love the liquid inside. Like, the proper beautiful blue... Things is important HS concerning TMR, Tom Marvelo Riddle, Alfred. So, 
that's a little sticker on it. That is beautiful. Yeah, you're all right. You, few few glass items, but they survive and they're doing well. That is beautiful. Oh wow! Oh, they're making friends. <laughs> so oh oh. Oh, oh, right, I'm trying to move some wiggly worms. Try and manoeuvre around. I don't know what to go for next. I'm going to go for this because I can stand to see. I love it. Stop it. Oh, I love it. So, I love the jars. It was like this little like mason hand jar. It says, shave it lemon, fizzy, sweet treat, lemon flavoured packaged in London. So, it's this. And like, you can actually... Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> You can actually open it and you've actually got proper shave it with lemons and sides. That's amazing. <laughs> it's the little things in life. Oh, wait, can I get that on properly? Hello? Was I not supposed to open that? Oh, no, it moves. Wait. How do I close it? What have I done? Wait. Just me. Just me. It was just me. It, the little things, like these little things, had like moved so the lid wouldn't go properly. Yeah, we'll just keep that closed. <laughs> save any problems but that is beautiful i love that now oh, let's go for oh this feels heavy too so we've got a little black wrapped item or item wrapped in black either or this feels like a candle so we've got a tea time with the headmistress fruit tea basil sage and mint in flame flam 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 candles in flammery Flamity? Is that the correct word? <laughs> Everyone gets a biscuit. So, it's this green. Let me show you it before I open it. So, love the sticking on it. Beautiful. Love the fact it's all smooth and beautiful. Very green. And then let's open it on up. Look at the insides. I love the glitter. Oh. She be strong now. She smells very herbal. Like, I feel like that is, like, new if you go to a spa and someone's going to massage it, I feel like that's a smell. Yeah, doesn't smell like a biscuit. Don't know whether that's what you were going for, but <laughs> like a biscuit. It's nice though. I feel like you really get the hair, but like I feel like if you were sick or something, like it'd be so nice. Like it, I feel like you'd go in and you like feel well. <laughs> you feel good. Like it's it smells like healing. That's nice. I actually like that. I feel like that isn't a smell that I'd go towards or I'd gravitate towards, but. I really, like, I'm glad that I've got it. Like, I feel like that would really clear all your san sinuses. Is that correct? All your senses and, get, like, make you feel all refreshed. Like, lovely. Love that. Big fan. Big fan. I'm so pleased. I love candles, mate. It does not bother me getting candles at all. I love them. Right. There's this little package and I really want it. So I'm going to get it. Right, it's vegan. Wrapped up in this really cute little packaging. What are you? A skin stick. Oh, is this going to be... No, it's not going to be a struggle. It's not. We're not going to make it a struggle today. It's not going to be... Wasn't. <laughs> so. Why is it always you three vegan? So obviously that's a line that McGonagall says to our little golden trio. So stress and headache relief skin stick. Need this for work. <laughs> it's organic pest and coconut oil grape seeds grapes <laughs> grape seeds and coconut oil essential oils of sweet orange ylang ylang labadunum and sun candelia wax alchemy for the skin should have just said that really <laughs> oh I don't know what that smells like. I'm not. I'm gonna read it before I put it anywhere because I feel like it's gonna probably be like your little areas that maybe can't <laughs> little areas. Um. Oh fuck! You hit myself in the nose. It doesn't smell bad though, but it's not really got a strong smell. Um. But I feel like if you've got eddy, you don't want it too strong because it might overpower it. Um. But yeah, we'll have a we'll have a little read on that and see how that works in a moment. We have like a plushy bag, and I really want that, but I don't want to touch that yet. This box is really pretty, so I'm going to go for this box next. <gasps> Stop. I shouldn't love this quill as much as I love this quill, and I love the fact it's got references to all the headmasters, because I'm not going to lie, I did think it was going to be very Dumbledore-themed. So far, it really hasn't. We've had a lot of McGonagall. We've had... We've had two McGonagalls, two... 
Dumbledore. No, that, no, because this is Alfred, isn't it? So that's not Dumbledore. So, and then we've got a Snape one, and then this is the Lord of Sunbridge. Now, if you don't know me, I love her. Like, it's a love hate. It's like me and my postman. It's a love hate relationship. Like, I don't love her. Like, I think she's proper evil, but like, I love her everything that she owns like her aesthetic is what i live for a bit dramatic like i'm not a barbie girl but i do live for it this is her quill and it says deep down you know you deserve to be punished how gorgeous like i hate this quill and what she does to people with it like little torturing thing that she is but this is so beautiful okay paper's gone <laughs> this is so beautiful because I really loved, and I really need them to put it in the shop. If you watch them, please put it in your shop if you've got any available. Because I really, really want the Reese Skeeter Quill from the Goblet of Fire. Like, that was one of my first videos that I watched of the Wizard and Trunk. Knew that I'd fell in love. Knew that it was, like, going to be a relationship that I was never going to want to end with this company. And I was like, wow, <laughs> I need that quill. <laughs> and this is beautiful. I would have felt the same if I did not own this right now. I would have needed this quill. It's so gorgeous. That is literally its twin. Like, I'm sorry, I will fight anyone who tells me this is not a quill because I will fight you. And it's like a proper, proper quill, like a proper pointy thing on the end. <laughs> oh my God, this is gorgeous. Favourite item so far? If you can't tell. Let me find that little piece of paper. Where did you go? There it is. Pop that in the box. You don't want to be losing that. That is beautiful. You just honestly blow me away, you know, with items like that. That was amazing. Right, anyway, moving on. Moving on, otherwise I'll be here all day. <laughs> right, I'm going for this one because I really want it. <laughs> and, like, I've been feeling it about the last three items, and I'm like, I want it. So, it's this bag. Oh, it's got a poison on it. I mean, not to be dramatic or not, but it looks a bit serious, so let's be careful. So, we're going to open the drawstrings. Wrapped again. Thank you so much. Oh. Finest oak matured spiced meat. Okay. So it does look empty. The bottle. I think it is empty, the bottle. <laughs> That's why it looks empty. Um, but it is the um drink that Draco gives the slug horn to give to Dumbledore, is that correct? Um it's got like a little wax seal on with a bee on and everything. I love this. Like, and I love the fact, like, if I had that in my kitchen, right, if I lived in my own house, because my mum will let me have it in the kitchen, but if I lived in my own house and I had this in the kitchen, like, you wouldn't know that it weren't supposed to be there and that it was Harry Potter, and I love that. Like, I love the fact you'd have to know Harry Potter to know that it's from Harry Potter. That makes sense. <laughs> that is amazing. Even, like, covering all this, I love when all this is covered i just feel like it makes the bottle like a proper unit that's amazing bottled october 7 15 22 i'm sure that'll taste amazing <laughs> if we want to die today so another item they weren't playing games with like these little bottles <laughs> they weren't lying that there was loads of glass in the box so we've got another little bottle Let's get this open. Oh, powdered root of aspidol. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got this little potion bottle and it's got like the little things that like move around. Like you can see them moving around. A really pretty sticker. That's really pretty. I really like the little powder it looks like. Like a bath salt kind of powder. It's really nice. Root of asp uh, aspidol. Oh, that is right, isn't it? You know me and English. It's we have a very unfriendly relationship. Sometimes it hates me. Sometimes it loves me. Can't really speak here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna move it around. We've only got a couple of more items left. Oh, we just okay. The pins fell, so I'm gonna grab the pin before I have an absolute seizure of what else that I think I can see. Oh, so we have. Oh, what I don't know what it's called though. It's the thing. It keeps. Let me just tighten it a little bit, see if I can tighten it. I'm not sure if I do it. Like, do you just hold in place? It's the Shave It Lemon. So is it, it's not a gargoyle, no. 
it's like the thing statue that takes you up to Dumbledore's office. I don't know what it's called. Please tell me. I do apologise. But it's that. I really like that. And on the back, it does say the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. The pin just wants to be this way. I do apologise. But it just doesn't want to face the correct way. That's lovely. Really subtle. Obviously, because I can't even remember the name of it. But it's really subtle. And I do really like that. I do really like that. I really like that pin. It's a beautiful, beautiful pin. The detail on it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, I think I might have a little bit of a seizure over this. I thought I'd seen a spider then ask me how much my heart, like, skipped a beat. I'm Ollie Mayer's over here. <laughs> so, let me just... I love this. It's a key. A beautiful key. This is, like, to the headmaster's office. That is gorgeous. As you can see, somewhere here is my Gringotts key. Obviously, I love anything to do with Gringotts, so anything like key like and that is beautiful. But it looks like it's got a H in it, so that's the only reason I'm thinking it's like the headmaster's office key. This is so heavy. That is stunning. That is properly stunning. I think this is going to be one of my favourite items as well. I think the quill's still winning it for me, though, like I'm not going to lie. I think she's still be winning. Right, we've got a box and we've got a pin, so I'm going to grab the pins out because I want to save the box to last. So let me just. I don't know what's in it, but that's the box. <laughs> right, no more, right, nothing else apart from Wiggly Worms left and this print, which is gorgeous as always. So we have Forks the Phoenix. Couldn't have the box without a bit of Forks in because we our headmaster's companion. That is a beautiful print. Obviously, it's in like, I love the fact they always put it in protectors. And do you know what? You think of any box that's going to come down, should it be this box with how much like glass was in it? And so far, it's the best one we've got. It would be the way. <laughs> but I can see, like, all the extra precautions with the the sending of it. The shipment. Delivery. I don't know what the correct word is that I'm looking for, but I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll move for the last box. Oh, this is like... Oh, my God. I feel like I'm playing past the parcel. It trapped again inside. This is heavy. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. This is an infusion of wormwood. This bottle is beautiful. Right, let me see if I can read it. Give us a sec. I should have got my glasses. Right, a substance der derived from the wormwood plant. A notable use of the infusion is that it can be used in potion making along with powdered root of... Oh, this! As... I could say aspidol. Padol? Maybe to create the drought of living death, bottled by pure blood. I'll say it properly. A a potter. No. <laughs> I don't know how you say the name, but I will link them down below because I do know, like they do quite a few like bottles for well, potions for um the wizard and trunk but i just don't know how to say the name i'm so sorry i can't say a lot of things please it's not a personal thing ever I, i'm just stupid okay we've established it i got a degree don't know how it happened but and now i'm stupid <laughs> so these go together which i love and i love oh, look at that look at that how beautiful if the reflection kind of stops is that trying to show you look at them all the pebbles and everything and it's like a vine going inside of it. Gorgeous. Right, let's get the spoiler sheet and we'll have a little gander. So, this is the Headmaster Special. So, we got the memory vial. These hand blown. You having a giggle? Memory vials were made especially for this box where it appears the memory inside has been tampered with. I hope it was the one from Slughorn. Horror Slughorn. That's what the HS stuff for. I wasn't sure because I was thinking there's an Harry Potter. Okay. Okay. Oh, it says Alfred's in a question mark. Tea time with the headmistress. The candle was created by infl inflammable candles. Again, I'll link them down below. <laughs> um, powdered root of aspartadol and the infusion of wormwood. What would I get if I added powdered root of... Um, they like putting this word in. Aspartadol <laughs> to an infusion of wormwood. I really hope I've said that right because I've said it wrong so many times, if not. Um, and then both of these ingredients were bottled by pure blood apothecary i think that's how you say it i do apologize if it's not then we've got the phoenix in the study print this watercolor print by was created by jp missile pro i love his work yeah, and that is an exclusive to the wisdom trunk the quill deep down you know you deserve to be punished my favorite if you can't tell that is definitely my favorite item i did love all of them 
but that was my baby. And then the Griffin pin, Griffin, it's a Griffin. Thank you for telling me what it was. <laughs> That's also an exclusive to the box. The enamel mug, which is an exclusive to the box, is this mug, two of our favourite snaky, snarky, snarky quotes from this professor. Snarky, snarky, not snaky, snarky. <laughs> and then Shave It Lemma candies, a favourite non wizarding candy. Don't like the candies or can't have them. Display these candies with pride or gift them to your headmaster. They are his favourite. And then why is it always you three? The vegan stress and headache relief stick is great for relieving stress and headaches. The headmaster's key it was, which is also an exclusive to the box. Strolling around the castle and don't fancy using magic. The heads, this headmaster key will allow you to enter any door without a magic spell. This key was designed in house. I like that. Okay, so it's not just for the headmaster's office, it's for any anywhere you want to go. Anywhere? You want to go see Fluffy? Off you pop. And then a case bottle of me is it's also an exclusive merry christmas headmaster not the faint smell of licorice and cherry so that is all the items we got 12 i think because it does say 11 but it didn't have a number next to you at the mug so i'm gonna say it's 12 items which is absolutely phenomenal i love this box if you can't tell just a little bit just not 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 like crazily you know what i mean <laughs> no i absolutely love this box it's absolutely amazing uh, please tell me down below what your favorite item is i haven't got a least because i did love them all i think you were all amazing and i love the quill the quill is definitely my favorite personally myself so please let me know down below what your favorite was if you've subscribed if you've got the limited edition one as far as the new DJ put on saying that they have got a couple of more so some of the items will be put on stock on the website so definitely go and check it out if there's anything that you really wanted like the quill then um, or any other item because they all are beautiful definitely have a look down below and go and see if they're available and add them to your basket if not keep an eye on it in case you refresh it um and see if there's any there and definitely have a look at subscribing to their monthly subscription boxes because they are honestly unbelievable and they're just amazing absolutely amazing they just they make some of the most best items i've ever seen and, and they're so creative so definitely go and check them out if you haven't already really hope that you did enjoy today's video please get involved in our 500 subscriber giveaway because i'm nearly at 600 and you beautiful angels really enjoyed the last video which honestly made my day um so thank you very much for that and yeah i hope that you do subscribe like this video add a little comment with me down below hopefully i'll see you in the next video but for now bye <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.